Welcome to another robotics video. This is for challenge eight. To get started, we need to go to this PC on our desktop, double click on it. Then we'll go to our network uh, drive, our H drive, double click on that as our special student ID number. Go into the My Robotics folder, graphical RC PC files, and we will select challenge eight. Just double click on it and when it opens, we'll get started. All right, now it's open. Now, as usual, we have to go through and do some checks for configuration. Let's go up to robot, Vex, Cor Vex Cortex communication mode, USB only, good. Compiler target, physical robot, good. Platform type, Vex 2.0 Cortex, and we need to select natural language PLTW. Okay, once we've got that, we're good to go. All right, so what we wanna bring in next is a while loop. So find while. Drag that out and try that again. While, drag that out. There we go. All right. And what we want to do is we're going to uh, select a value. So in this case, um, this is going to be the bump switch. So here's something a little new that you haven't seen before. So we're going to come down to where it says bump switch. And then we got a little pop out. And it says sensor value bump switch. So we're going to select that click on that and that puts that right there. So uh, while sensor value bump switch equals, that's how you say equals, two equals signs zero, that means it's off, um, it'll do this stuff, okay? So that's sort of our um, our off switch. So as long as the bump switch is, uh, is not pressed, then it'll execute this code in there. So, okay, so next, we're going to need an if else conditional, okay? So a conditional is, is, as you know by now, is something has to happen in order for something else to happen. Okay, so let's drag this out. We'll put it inside the while loop. Okay, and so next, if sensor value limit switch, and we'll select right here, if limit switch equals one, do this. Okay, so in other words, if the limit switch is pressed, so if limit switch equals one, which is on, do this. What is it going to do? Well, it's going to start the motor. What motor? The right motor. And you can leave the speed, whatever. Uh, I'll leave it at I'll leave it at ninety five. Um, and it also turned the green LED light on. So let's find LED. Turn LED on. Okay, got to tell it where it's at. Green LED. Okay, and then. And in the else category, we'll, uh, so in other words, if this isn't pressed, then it's going to do this, okay? All right, so if the limit switch isn't pressed, it will stop the motor. What motor? The right motor. And it will turn off the green LED. Okay, so reading this from top to bottom, okay? While sensor value bump switch equals zero. So in other words, while the sensor value isn't pressed, it'll do this. If the sensor value limit switch is pressed, it'll start the right motor and the green LED. But as soon as you let go of it, the else, it'll stop the motor, okay? So save, compile, download. So this gives us our escape hatch, pretty much. Okay, so we can do this all day long. This is just like the code before. But when we press the bump switch, when that becomes one, it'll it'll kill the program. So limit switch pressed, motor on, LED on. I let go, it's off. But notice I still have the stop stop option, which means it's still running. So I can do that all day long. Press the limit switch, let go. Press the limit switch, let go. But as soon as I hit the bump switch, I killed the program, okay? It is no longer gonna start unless I hit start. 